During the voyage to Cinturon, Selkie mostly keeps to herself, but does have some conversations trying to glean information about her destination and some of the passengers, while she does try her best to stay out of trouble. One night, Selkie gets caught up in an incident with an opened box and some sleeping guards. She manages to extract herself from the situation, though there is some confusion about what exactly happened. When she finally arrives in Cinturon, she does note a strange figure clinging to the side of the ship, but pays it no heed. She spends a couple of days shopping and acclimatising to this strange new land, learning its ways and spending the last of her coin. When her money runs out, she tries to get back to Solstice, but her lack of coin complicates things. Just when things get desperate, she makes new friends, who offers to show her where to get free mangoes. But when they reach the spot, they try to mug her. Selkie manages to get the upper hand, however, and kills her assailant and allows the rest to go free. With a fancy new jacket and some assets to sell, she manages to get passage back to Solstice. How will Selkie's homecoming go? Will she be able to create a new identity? How long before she is in trouble again? Let's find out now on Dicing with Death. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dyson with Death. How are you doing today, Ryan? Hello. Doing well. How are you? I am doing well. A little bit sleepy, and I've got a kitty on my lap. But other than that, mm. ready to go. Who's sleepier, you or the kitty? A hard question. Alternating, we take turns being more sleepy. Hmm. Hmm. But we are here for some Dice with Death and some Selkie and some Return to Solstice from Cinturon. So, um, yeah. Do you uh, think you were away long enough to uh, for the heat to die down? Let's see. I was away for at least a week. I don't remember mm -hmm. exactly how long the voyage was, so <laughs> probably not enough for all of the heat to die down. Yeah, if, the, if you got arrested in Boulder and there was an outstanding warrant, how long do you think you'd split town for? Uh, I would just never go back to Boulder. Mm. Fun. But in this uh, dog-eat-dog -dog world, I, I did what I needed <sighs> to do, and now I am... You ate some dogs? Home. Yeah, I'm going to come eat some dogs and some bats, and uh, we'll see what mm. comes of it. Oh, music. I do the music here, don't I? You do the music. All right, do we have any uh, more chat to chit? Uh, shit to shoot? I don't think so. No? 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 Unless you've got some epic story for about uh, discovering new elements. No, 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 not really. Uh, you haven't discovered Huftanium no. yet? Huftanium. <laughs> no, but I could rename some existing uh, elements. If you were going to name myself, an element but... after yourself, what would you call it? I don't know that I would, Nate. I don't know. That's a pretty income. I don't know. It's hard to imagine discovering a new element at this point. All the low-hanging fruit's pretty much been discovered, right? It's not like there's a number 13 and a half. Well, no, but there's like, it, you know, the numbers can continue to go up even if they have to be man-made, right? Yeah. Here, you could just keep smashing shit together uh, ad infinitum. Well, 
we'll start that GoFundMe for a uh, particle collider and <laughs> get, get to smashing. Ah. We could let uh, we could let the let chat name it. Of Schmidium. Not bad. No, it's not. Sounds like a sciencey name. Well, also, like name new ions after people, right? Sometimes yeah, ions I could like have sub names. Yeah, yeah. Could hypothesize some new like particle theory. Hmm. Mm. Some, get some huffy quarks and. Ooh. Postulate them. You don't actually need to discover them. You just gotta predict their existence. Uh huh. Predict some new, new elementary particles after yourself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, this has been riveting. I know. I have great content. Okay. You need so, to work on your, You need to work on your small talk, sir. My. <laughs> I'll take it. How much part. smaller than you, can you get than than particles? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. Where last we left. Selkie has uh, hitched a ride aboard a ship packed full of uh, wild animals bound for solstice. Birds and, uh, I don't know, maybe a tiger or two, given the, uh, the uh, I don't know. Well, the, I'm going to go the get popular. me some meth then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're ship was hit by a storm many of the animals did not make it but uh selkie did and the dead parrots are not really your problem that's true they're not no all right well yes we set foot in solstice yeah yeah let me um by the time you pull into port the storm is breaking has broken. Clear, huh. beautiful skies. Switching maps. Mine is loading because I've got potato internet, but I'm sure you can see perfectly clearly. Yeah, no. All right. And here we are, back in Solstice. Serene, as if there's a, uh, yeah, as if the storm never happened. Mm -hmm. um, you are more or less ignored as the crew rubs foreheads and tries to figure out what to do with all these uh, with all these damaged wares. They're unloading uh, soggy cages and I don't know, piling up limp macaws. Oh, or macaws. Sad sight, but uh, those are those are the weather rules. <laughs> well, I will disembark, uh, stretch my legs on the dock, and look at the big, wide city before me. Yeah, what does Selkie uh, look like? You want to remind us? It's been a, it's been a little while. Selkie is a level one half elf female. <laughs> He's forty five years old, five foot two, and oh, sorry. Yeah, she's about an average height, female half elf. She's wearing. I don't remember if I was wearing jungle clothes last we met or not. Uh, but I. Got That's why I'm asking you for a description. Short sword at my side, uh, a machete at my side. Dagger. Are you uh got a oh I've got like um a, a leather jacket and a hat. Oh yeah, you stole that from whatever that dead guy's name is. And a necklace compass. A necklace compass? Yeah, I don't remember that's where I got this from. That's some cool it. loot. Yeah. That might come in handy. It very well may. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think I'm wearing some jungling gear. Um, um, 
Laura Croft Tomb Raider shit, but with like a heavy jacket and a short sword and a Betty. I'm uh, no longer outfitted as city folk, but instead as jungle folk. And uh, I will assume a an accent as I walk through town and hope that no one recognizes me for the selfie that was here before. Why don't you uh, roll a disguise check just to, uh, I guess it's just to roll this in private, but I don't really care. Uh, 25. 25. Yeah, yeah. A passable disguise. Mm-hmm. Maybe if they knew you or were uh, expecting you to return, mm -hmm. someone might recognize you, but mm -hmm. walking down the street probably won't match the wanted posters. Yeah, got my face is all dirtied by the jungle and the sweat and the grossness. Of you were in the jungle for all of five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> seen some stuff out there. Thirty loops and, and you saw more on is... that. Uh, saw more on that. Uh, that import ship than uh, than you did in the jungle. I was out in the shit, guys. It was <laughs> tough out there. You don't know what it was like. Nothing could prepare you for civilian life after being in that jungle for so long. I can't even remember how long it was. All right. Well, I will. Yeah. Uh, through town. Step into a bustling dock. Walking mm -hmm. along this uh, granite slab. Is that a key? Is there between a key and a dock? Uh, a key is a small island? No. A key is a stone or Kong. Where did that go? I think I'm, I'm cracked. A stone or concrete structure on navigable water used for loading and unloading vessels. Oh, worth. Okay, yeah. so you step onto the marble key. Learning your new vocab word of the day, Q-U-A-Y. If you're if you're uh, doubting my uh, hey. my vocabulary, I think it's pronounced key. But uh, <laughs> carry on. All right. I will stroll down the key, the wharf, the dock, the pier, the peninsula, the artificial ground, the mooring See, I station. I think because it's stone, it's a key. At least that's my uh, understanding. If it were wood, maybe it'd be a dock. If it were natural, it'd be a peninsula. Everyday parlance, the term K key is common in the United States, Canada, and Australia, and many other Commonwealth countries. Whereas the term yeah, wharf is more common in the United States. Context wharf and K may be used to mean here, birth, or jetty. Save it for your Apple Santa Barbara research. Will they they call it a wharf. Alright, perfect. I can get behind a wharf. <laughs> Uh, all right, I will walk down the wharf. Make sure to set. No, that's the Santa, that's the Santa Barbara. Oh, I see. I, okay, I go down the key. I mean, it looks like a key, right? Got like mm -hmm. line and some like teethy thingies coming out of it. Sure. But this could be like a big lock over here that it's going into. It could be a wharf. It could be a key. I'll take away your drawing privileges. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's a nice sea green. I know it's, it's a nice color, but it doesn't show up very well on the map. That's why it blends in. It's natural. Ah, uh, yes. Well, right, you step through the smell of uh, frying fish and uh, baking pasties. Mm hmm. Yep. It's uh, early in the morning, so the, cloud, the crowds have not quite gathered. Mm hmm. Well, I you spot a pair of guards making their way down the dock, and your heart skips a beat, but uh, they pay you no mind and uh, go about their business. Brushing right past you to yell at the boat, "Hey, you can't dump those birds out just over the over the <laughs> side there." <laughs> uh, I will quickly walk by them, trying not to look at them, while I contemplate my future here in Solstice. Uh, I formerly had tried to work, get in with some of these thieves guildy people, which 
has been a, a mixed bag. Like, they pointed me in some good directions, but uh, I got myself in some trouble, and my, my friends there are gone now, so I don't really know if I can trust the people there anymore. I'm only a level 2 rogue, level 1 wizard, so I'm, you know, not really ready to take on the whole world by myself. But at the same time, maybe it's time I just set my own path. Maybe I should find someone here that uh, doesn't matter if they're protected or not. I can just take their shit. Or maybe I will uh, get involved. I don't know. Uh, I guess just I'm kind of broke. So uh, first things first, I've got to make a little bit of money. Um, oh, yeah. It's just as you're thinking this that you're walking by a familiar, unmarked tavern. I believe uh, the uh, in uh, Undercommon and Thieves Can't. There's a term for it. But uh, it's been so long since you've been here, you almost can't remember. But I can remember, right? I could have your own knowledge check or something. I think it was the dock spot, if I recall. But... Uh, what happened to all my macros? You got macros? I had various skill checks for Selkie, and they're all gone now. Hmm. Did I do you have like a new character or something? Oh, like, no. are they tied to a character? I think they're tied to the token, maybe. Character. I think I may have just dragged. There's a new one. Does that one have macros? I don't know where else to. Oh, I know. I know what they are macros on my account this is funky am i using a spectator are there two of us look yeah I oh see yeah two there's selkies. a double selkie that's the problem okay it's the wrong selkie it doesn't have I'm gonna macros. take i should take away your admin privileges you should not to be trusted it got dark there all of a sudden what time is it uh it's noon noon I don't believe you. <laughs> I would, I could turn no, you're, better you're fine. It just uh, looks spooky. Cat on my lap, so I'd have to kick him off, and he's being chill now. All right, knowledge check. Um, are we talking wisdom uh, here? Charisma? It's not really relevant. Charisma, sure. We can chat. We can test your macros. Twenty-eight. Yeah, you walk by this unmarked tavern. All the cool cats call it the dock spot. Mm. Uh, used to be run by a dwarf named Granite, but no one's quite sure what happened to him. Well, I know I don't want to mess with those guys. Uh, the dwarves there don't like me too much. Whether Granite's there or not is uh, not much of the point. None of them dwarves like me, and for good reasons. So I will make my way through the city and I think I have to resort to either a life of crime or throw myself at the Sunblade. And uh, throwing myself at him in the past hasn't worked, so life of crime it is. Up in my pickpockets. Nothing. I have not put anything into pickpockets. Terrible. <laughs> uh, so that means. You're Robin a wizard houses. who needs pickpockets. Uh. That means Robin Houses. Uh, so I will take a stroll and look for places to, to rob. Hmm. This is a prosperous trade city. It seems uh, ripe for the picking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure how anyone can hang on to their wealth. Well, uh, I know that this here is the guard station. Uh, so yeah. I don't want to be stealing anywhere near that. 
So what do I want to be doing? Why? You want them to have to drag you a long way to prison? Yeah, it's just not good to rob the place right next to the police station, you know? Leave the donut shops alone. Maybe that's where they least expect it. That's true. That is true. Um, hmm. I want to find a place that looks sort of removed. Easy to get to. Wealthy. Oh. Uh, maybe I will just hang out somewhere over here ish in this uh, big thoroughfare and keep an eye out for a, uh, a wealthy woman walking down the street. See if there's any ladies out going shopping for jewelry or whatnot. Uh, went on their way to a party. You know, someone with the uh, signs of wealth. And I'll just shadow them through the streets for a little while and see if I can't find where they live. Um, why don't you roll a couple things? We'll start with a charisma check to see if you can uh, case a suitable mark. Or. 21. Um, so you've got a pretty good feel for the streets. Uh, but maybe it's early. Crowds aren't there yet. You don't see anyone displaying, uh, I don't know, un, yeah, displaying excess wealth. No one flaunting jewelry or anything. There's a few merchants. That walk I'll, by. It's, yeah, I'll uh, drop um, the a, noble lady yeah. stuff and go after one of them. Their merchants, then. Okay, you can tell he's merchant because he has a merchant because he's got a fat belly. Ah, yes. The Oops. long, uh, like robe. Yes, he certainly has been quarantined for a while, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Dressed in robes. Uh, roll a perception large check. Belly. Roll a perception 18. check. No. All right. It's fine. Um. I don't know if I, I don't think Matt makes any tokens that are fat. Wow. Well, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to work on this. Got to get some American size tokens. Yeah. Like here's a merchant token, but oh. Yeah, but he's a slender. Oh, he's a slender merchant. Oh, I got it. I know what to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now he's a wide merchant. Ooh. This one looks like a priest. All right. You find a suitable mark. He's fat. He's probably got some uh, coin to spare. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, how do you approach this guy? Especially considering the streets are fairly empty. There's only maybe a dozen or so people within your sight. Oh, some bustling up at the uh, up at the temple, but otherwise this, and of uh, course at the docks. But otherwise, oops. City well, is so I will uh... just waking up follow behind him by like 50 feet or so and if he stops like let's say he stops here at this shop for something i will mm -hmm. uh walk past him and find an excuse to stop at something over here where i can like mm -hmm. then keep an eye out of my peripheral at him and then if he walks past me i wait for him to walk past me and then continue after him or if he then were to turn around and go the other way then i would give it a minute and follow after him there I want to be like walking around window shopping um, as an excuse or a pretense to uh, stop and keep an eye on him if he stops anywhere. Okay. Um, well, he's walking this way. Maybe gets to yay here uh, before he passes by someone he knows and they begin having a conversation. Yeah. 
and I'll just keep on walking past him and uh, look for something in this area that uh, I could even slightly reasonably be attracted by. There a, a bag salesman, perhaps. Uh, um, there's not really shrine. any. There's not really any merchants in there. I mean, there's two merchants right behind you, but there's not really any uh, any stalls, any shops in this area. There are some like statues on, in front of some of the nicer buildings, nicer houses. Maybe some flowers planted that somewhere that I can stop and smell. Um. You look back here and see uh, there is a little like a flower stand set up around uh, that fountain. Yes, I will go to the. So flower you double stand. back. Mm hmm. Um, and I will pick up the flowers and chat with the flower salesman and uh, do a lot of like holding them and looking at them from different um, angles of sunlight. So I'll have an excuse to yeah. be facing out at these guys occasionally while I'm still messing with the flowers. And I will uh, make small talk about flowers. My newfound Cinturonian accent. Is there a way to set the default token size? Yes. To yes, there is, but you can't set it on a per page basis. So on oh, weird. this map, it would end up being right sized and on other maps would probably end up being too small. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So you're standing here talking to this flower salesman. Um, are you pretending you were trying to buy something or? Oh, at first I'm just asking about them. What type of flower is this? It looks so nice. They smell so good. What, do, what meanings do these flowers have? You know, I'll just shoot the shit mm -hmm. about flowers for a little while. I have okay. a little bit of money, so I can give up four copper. Uh, I need two to make work you tell me do you it depends you on how long to? the conversation goes if they're there for 10 minutes then i'll have to like pick up some money if they're only there for three minutes i can get away without it um why don't you roll a new charisma check you know Ooh, the it's bad it's only bad person. you're awkward she's like hi can i help you what would you like to buy? I'm Where just does it go south? Yeah. All right, mate. I'm just looking at some flowers here. What do you got for me? My Cinturonian accent, oh. you know. Do you say that? Do you, do you, <laughs> you. Maybe you do. Maybe you do say that. Oh, Cinturon, huh? Yeah. Some of my flowers come from Cinturon. I was gonna say these lilies came in. Like uh, what I what I see back home. <laughs> Hmm. Well, perhaps you'd uh, perhaps you'd like some uh, Cinturonian lilies. Oh, I don't know. I, I've been out of the bush for a little while. I'd like to see something new, something from this part of the world. You know, hmm. way out here. You got anything uh, locally grown? These tulips are in season. Oh, mighty fine tulips. Look at them. I think here's real like, what's the significance of these flowers is how you framed it. And I think the blank stares. You, uh, you connect any astrology to your flowers, do you? Huh? Astrology? No, yeah. flowers grow in the sun. Well, back home, back in Cintron. Uh, we say sometimes flowers have certain meanings based on, you know, star patterns you were born under. Is that not... You don't, you don't do that out here, do you? Yeah. And I think you're in this flow state. You think you're, like, working a real good con. Super focused on, on this, uh, I don't know, tricking this flower salesman. Um, that you don't notice the footsteps passing by. Or you assume that it's just a, an ordinary uh, passerby. Um until they stop a few feet from you, from the stall, and turn and stare. Cocking a helmed head. Right. Um, well, why don't I get these uh, these tulips for, from you, and uh, we'll, we'll call it a deal. Oh, sure. How many would you like? 
just the two. Or deuce, as two we say. Two tulips. Two tulips. Hey, what are you doing? I, right. I'm not making those sorts of puns. Don't put that all. Copper a stem. Uh, and all the while, a uh, orange cloaked figure is looming beside you, staring. Uh, I try to ignore the figure. <laughs> Those are some lovely flowers. He says, approaching the stall. I recognize the voice. Yeah, standing beside you is uh, the Sunblade. Uh, what would we call him? Knight, Knight Commander of uh, of the uh, yeah, the, the Knights of Solstice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, mate. I say to the the person who spoke to me, still trying not to face him. Oh. oh. Sir Sunblade, says the uh, flower salesman. Here, have one on the house. It will uh, match your cloak. And she hands him a complimentary tulip or something. I uh, turn my back to him so I can admire the tulips in the sun. You no, know, because the sun comes from shines this direction, so I want the sun behind me, pull on the flower, so I'll face north for a little bit, and then try and throw a glance towards these two buggers over here. Uh, they're still chatting. Okay. <clears throat> you sure look familiar, says the Sunblade. Right, well, I suppose all of us Cinturonian folk look the same to you, City Slickers. You know, I've been to Cinturon, and your accent does not sound familiar. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you must have been down on the other side. You know, Cinturon's a yeah, big place. Yeah, which bank are you from? Well, that's a trick question. We don't count ourselves by banks in Cinturon. <laughs> hmm. I'm from the Mango District. <laughs> Mango District. Mm-hmm. That explains right, the I am. smell. The smell of sweetness? Sunblade sets a copper coin on like the rim of the well here next to the stall. And gives the uh, merchant a nod. Uh, oh, you want it's anything from me? Fine day for a walk, isn't it? Beautiful day for a walk, I think. That's what I was just doing, stretching my legs, going around, taking a walk about, as we uh, as we say back home. I throw him a, like, you need something from me? Uh, it's hard to read his expression through the helmet. But... And that that does uh, tend to get in the way of reading facial expressions. <clears throat> I was just heading down towards the docks, if you'd care to join me. Ah, uh, sure. I could, lady. I could stand to stretch my legs a bit more. Show me the way, Sir Knight. And he sort of like steps back and gestures for you to walk with him down towards the docks. I'll take my pair of tulips and uh, head down towards the docks with the... No kitty, that is not a toy for you. I know I was playing with it. Not a toy. Um, and I will walk with him. You get a... I don't know, 100 feet down the road, out of your shot of uh, the uh, flower monger and the merchants. And he leans in and through gritted teeth says, what are you doing here? Couldn't make ends meet I thought meet I told you to get lost and die low. Couldn't, Couldn't make, make ends meet in Cinturon, so I had to come back. It's been a week. Part of lie low, do, don't you understand? What do you want from me, huh? Yeah. 
Look, I followed them lizard the folk. Rules. I followed I them the lizard bend. folk and it yeah. didn't go well. All right, it went poorly. So here I am. Besides, you don't bend rules, you make rules. Totally different. You could do anything you want. These people would uh, let you do it. Mm-hmm. And next time you find yourself in trouble, I could uh, not intervene. Oh, but would you? Huh? I've Don't you miss my to... smiling face? Who else understands you? Your troubles, huh? <clears throat> no one. No one but your friend Selkie here. Stop with that ridiculous accent. I've half a mind to take you and myself. Extend my wrists towards him. He's stopped here in the street. With the harumph. He turns, flapping his uh, cloak, and walks away. Uh, right. I will make my way back to the corner and peer around, see if the merchants are still there. Um, they are parting ways, but you can spot them sort of walking separate ways down the street. Sure. Uh, I will follow the one I was originally tailing. I think it's this gentleman. Yep. And he begins uh, walking this way into the uh, into the old quarter. Enormous uh, stone buildings. Sheer, smooth, impossibly smooth facades tower above you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little chilly in the shade of uh, the stone. And you uh, tail this guy. Um, are there any skills to blend in in this situation? Do you think it's like a hide? Maybe a hide. Uh, yeah, I can give you a hide check. Not 120. That's 1d20. 10, 17. Uh, well, that's a hide, but I don't know if that's the same as a blend in. Yeah, so I think he gets here and he puts a glance over his shoulder and spots you, like, not like it catches your eye like he, he clearly notices you mm -hmm. like trying to like blend in and like i don't know you like go to like casually look at nothing and then you find yourself like staring at a pot and he stares back at you and the look of i don't know hey you look familiar passes over his face uh, I give him a shrug as our eyes meet in that sort of like, eh. uh, and so I just... and he uh, mm -hmm. he starts to go this way and then shuffles back and quickly darts down the street. Yeah, it's Not early like, in the day. Just like a just like a shuffle walk kind of thing. Yeah, it's early in the day. If he's already spotted me, I don't want, need any trouble. Um, I'll just relocate a new target. You know? He's going to spot me and see me. This could be a dangerous task. It's probably better not to be spotted by a person I'm planning on stealing in my first hour back in town after the Sunblade has also spotted me right away. So um, I will immediately abort mission and retreat elsewhere. All right, where is elsewhere? Which part of town? Uh, I'll just come back to the center of town again and try and locate a new merchant um, or a new person of means greater than 
10 silver to their name. All right. Well, I guess why don't you roll another charisma check to uh, conjure an NPC to... Uh... Not today. Yeah. Um, I think it's that the gates are open. The town's waking up and all around you is a rabble. Filthy, filthy peasants going about their day. A cart walks by that you swear is literally full of shit. Well, it's a precious resource. And the people don't, the people don't smell much better. Huh. Well, morning is just one part of the day. So I will walk about for a while and, um, you know, you can't have bad luck all day. Eventually I'll run into somebody. So I will just take my sweet time strolling about the city, looking for opportunities. Yeah. Do you have food? No. I have nothing. No. Okay. So you spend the morning walking around and eventually your uh, stomach starts to rumble. Uh, yep. You should probably yes, uh, acquire some rations before... Uh, I have a little chat with myself. Some sustenance. I can feel my tummy rumbling. I'm like, well, I should eat. And I'm like, Selkie, what are you doing? You're broke. There's, this is no time for food right now. All right, you don't get to eat. It's time for uh, two copper worth of tulips. <laughs> what are you doing with those tulips at this point? I'm just holding on to them. They can, they can act as cover somehow. Um, okay. They'll, they'll be good props. Uh, I tell myself that I don't get to eat until I find myself a target. All right, none of this, oh, well, I didn't find anything, so I guess I'll just take a break. No, we're going to work it till we find it. Till we get it done. So, uh... I will walk around, forcing myself to be hungry and trying to keep an eye out for a useful target, a useful mark. Okay, then. Well, the morning passes. I guess I'll have you uh, re-roll that charisma in the afternoon. Even worse. No. Why is it going so badly? What's uh, what's wrong with all of uh, with all the people in this town? What what, what do you find unsuitable about the? Uh, is it that you don't you don't find anyone displaying enough wealth to make it worth it, or? Are you too on edge? Are too many guards about? Um, it's got to be one of those two, right? So I think I the f- first couple people I find um, are maybe like... The first couple of marks that I might find are maybe just heading to their shops, and that's where they are. So I blow off those people, and then I find another person, but then she meets up with her like bodyguard or escort, so I bail on that one. And as I'm going for maybe another person in a crowd, there's like a pair of town guardsmen standing right by them looking around. And so there mm-hmm. there keeps being too many possible signs of danger for Selkie to follow through on any of these people. She's trying to be careful and not run afoul of security forces. And mm-hmm. uh, she's meeting nothing but armed guards everywhere she goes. Yeah. Tempted with a critical fail to uh, make you play out one of these botched scenes, but I think with the number of charisma checks I'm having you roll, of course they're bound to fail. Mm-hmm. So we can just say nothing suitable arises. It's uh, too much heat here in Solstice, huh. um, and eventually afternoon begins to wane. You've wasted a whole day wandering around the city uh-huh. looking for something to do pacing sort of back and forth from uh, wealthy neighborhood to wealthy neighborhood. Yep. From the docks to the old quarter. And uh, starting to get hungry. Day starting to get, uh, the sun's starting to get low. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, the 
question arises, you know, what, what are you going to do for food, for shelter? Well, there is a tavern I've been to a few times before called the Traveler's Rest, the Wayfarer's Inn, something like that. The Traveler's Oasis, yeah, right there Traveler's by the Oasis. Of town. Yeah, so I will head over there and rely on my, what was it, like a 28 disguise check earlier to... Yeah, something like that. 25, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the Traveler's Oasis and bop on in. All right. And you know, maybe this is the place to rob. Maybe I've been looking for a person. I should have been going for a business. Yeah, maybe that was your mistake. Mm -hmm. So when I go in, I will head up to the counter, put a couple of silver coins on the table, and say, uh, a new in town, just here for a night. Uh, how much for a room? Private room. Private room, five silver. Ooh, all right. It's a bit pricey. But I will put standard the rate five silver on the table and uh, well, uh, keep a very careful eye on the proprietor as I see what they do with the coins. <clears throat> um, they take the coins and uh, sweep them underneath the counter. I think at this point they're just lying in a stack behind the uh, behind the bar. Okay. Um. Includes a meal and an ale. Take those, thank you very much. She whistles back to the kitchen. You can have a seat, or shall I bring it up to your room? Oh, right here is great. Thanks, mate. And I will sit down and keep a close mm -hmm. eye on where those coins go. If they stay yeah. behind the bar the whole time, if there's a strong box back there, uh, who, you know, I'll watch the bartender take money from people and see if there's like a repository on the bar. Uh, yeah, but less than a minute after taking your coins, she uh, opens a lockbox underneath the bar and deposits the coins in it. Um, roll a perception check. 32. All right. Yeah, you spot her produce a key uh, that's attached to her waist. Mm hmm. And undo the lockbox and then return the key to, to her waist. Right, with the 32, is there, um, how good of a look can I get at this key? Um, plenty good. I don't know. It's a small iron key. Okay. I want to try and, two teeth. I'm, I'm expecting at some point to have to break into this lockbox to steal some money. So I want uh, to try and get like as good of a gauge on the difficulty of the lock as I can based on the key shape. If it's like mm -hmm. an ordinary key, or is it one of those fancy four directional keys, or you know, the, uh, in the olden days you had a lot of different shapes of keys for a lot of different types of locks. Yeah, I personally don't know much about this, uh, but it appears it appears to be an ordinary key. It's nothing super fancy. Um, um, I'll have you roll a lock picking skill. I mean, for now, but you get you get a pretty good feel for the uh, for the establishment. Uh, there's just the uh, thirty woman on my lock picking, uh, and a s serving girl, and at least one cook. There are um, two other parties in the common room right now. Uh, a raucous group of. Uh, of five, and then a uh, and then a couple sitting down for dinner. So there was the um, fighter, a serving girl, and a cook. Uh, yes. I said at least at least one cook. Right. You assume you haven't seen the kitchens, but you, there's someone back there who she was uh, whistling at. Right, could be multiple people um, in the kitchen, but. And then there's a staircase that leads upstairs to rooms. So the ground floor is just the common room and kitchen? Correct. Yeah. 
All right, she brings back a plate and a nail. It says, uh, you're room number four, honey. I didn't catch your name. Um, Bernadette, he says. I'm Bernadette? the, uh, oh, I'm the proprietor. You let me know if there's any. Th- Thank you. My, My uh, mother had Daphne. fine taste. Daphne Moon. Nice to meet you. Well, it's our pleasure to have you, Miss Moon. Now, you let me know if there's anything that I can do for you. Find me a gentleman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll yeah, find one of them on my own the one day. Yeah, hopefully good. I don't want her actually to die. That'd be weird. This isn't that sort of establishment, Neil. All right, so I will take my time to sip my ale uh, and just, you know, hang out in the common room until things shut down and uh, keep uh, half an eye on that lockbox. Uh, at least, you know, behind the... You said it's behind a bar, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I'll just note the exits to the bar and if anyone happens to be carrying the lockbox out while they go or... Um, see if they How long do you stay here? It's like 5 p.m. at this point. I thought you said it was getting on. I thought you said the sun was setting. Yeah. It's yeah. right around sunset. You're yeah, here yeah, for yeah, dinner. Perfect. You're here around dinner time. You haven't eaten all day. So I'll, I'll meal, basically hang room. out in the tavern until the, they close the kitchens and shut down for the night. Yeah. Do you buy anything else? I will probably you... need to buy another drink or two to keep the pretense up. Yeah. I'd, if you loiter around long enough, you'll get another complimentary ale. And maybe a sleazy patron will try to buy you a drink. Um, I will loiter. I will accept <laughs> complimentary ales, but I will buy a few of my own. And okay. I will uh, over. I will deal with the sleazy patrons as they arrive. The world is full of sleazy okay. patrons. How much for the, the two other ales? Uh, as I was going to say you could get a couple for free um, if you'd like to pay for ale I think they're five copper each I'll get myself one and I will happily here I thought you were broke and now you're uh... I guess they, uh... well, I'm the more coin my... you put in that lockbox the more you're going to get yeah exactly but I'm down to my last 57 copper now so mm-hmm uh, this is a trick I can do today, and tomorrow I will be too broke to do it again. So, okay. well, uh, well, patrons come and patrons go. Um, a few hours later, the bar is bustling. Mm-hmm. Uh, you find yourself growing sleepy, but I it sounded like you wanted to power through to uh, last call. Absolutely. Okay, um... Alright, anything you need to pass the time, or you just park at the bar? I park it at the bar. I uh, keep an Do eye on... Do you talk on... to anyone? I mean, it's some... I think if you're sitting at the bar this long, the proprietor is going to come back to you. Make small talk, what do you say? Yeah, I'll make small Which talk. I'll... Oh, you know, I'm just new in town. So what, what, what should I do? What, what would you recommend, huh? What's uh this this place Solstice has got to offer? Hmm. Well, Solstice is a city with a lot of history. Beautiful buildings, the library, docks. Why uh, could spend a lifetime here. Say, you got a funny accent. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from all about. You see, I'm a half elf. You see, uh, most recently though, I spent time in Cinturon and lands beyond. You know. Hmm. What's beyond Cinturon? Oh, jungle stretches as far as the eye could see. Dangerous creatures roam around those parts. Necromancers and the like. You never know what you're gonna get into. Hmm. Did you get into necromancy? Ah, <laughs> not me, mate. No, no, I, I ain't got no taste for that. Smart. 
Then some uh, right, some bogan shit out there. The bogans get into the necromancy. Can't trust them farther than you can throw an axe. Hmm. All right. It's fine. There's more small talk. Patrons coming and going. Um, I. F um, it's a busy night, so it's rolling around past midnight, and there's still maybe twenty or so people in the common room. Yeah, I will yeah. Uh, keep my parked seat and mm -hmm. uh, not do too much else. Sip my drink, chat with people if they come by, but uh, guard it. Don't let anyone take my spot and uh, be a mm -hmm. barfly all day all day long. I'm sure they're used to having people sit around drinking with no real purpose. Mm hmm Okay. Well, around... Um... I, I guess there's a last call. Yeah, around 2 a.m. They, like, ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, bloody government. Well, you Telling us Grace, that we gotta stop you know drinking. The... You know the you know the drill. It's time for me to call it a night. I will slowly finish yeah, up whatever yeah. I've got. Mm -hmm. I would like to be the last or one of the last people out of here. If I have to stop and tie my sandals or whatever, I'll uh, okay. give cause for delay and try and spot what they do with the strong box when they clean up. Yeah, roll a perception check. Okay. Um, you're sort of caught up in a big crowd. So Chuck quaffing their drinks, pushing past you. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. See y'all tomorrow. I, I guess as everyone should and, know, uh, I kind of look around like I'm missing something. And wait for the patron to show up, the rioter to show up again. Woman with the key. Mm -hmm. um, sh if you wait till the very end, she sh the rioter shoes everyone out. Yeah. Um, and sure enough, the uh, lockbox is there on her hip. I look at her and go. Um, she's uh, standing in the door. I uh, and there is one. There is one other man who has arrived in a dark blue cloak and wide brimmed hat. Um, so it's the three of you. Here in this common room, she says, Your room's upstairs. Uh, uh, number four, num you need a. Four? Sorry. N number four. Thank you. She nods. You need a. Uh, you need Cleedence here to show you the way? I look to the man in blue. Is that Cleedence? He nods. Well then, show me the way, buddy. Okay, he starts trudging upstairs. Uh, I right. give Swing, ma'am. Right. See you later. She, walk, she walks out the front door. Okay. Uh, she actually, walks out the front door with actually, the strong box on her hip. Um, actually, not the front door. Uh, maybe you don't. I don't think you see where she goes. She's standing near the front door at this point, um, and Cleveland starts leading you upstairs. Okay. I will follow Cleveland, and uh, as I go, I'll say, "Oh, did." I didn't see you earlier. You um, work here? You're an employee? <clears throat> Night watch. I'm, uh... Ah, oh, bloody good to hear. This place has got some sort uh, of guards on watch. Uh, Back where I'm yeah. from, there there ain't no such thing as a night watchman. You just gotta fend for yourself. You wake up in the morning, there'll be a snake in your boot. No one would know. No man to keep a watch on it. You walk Not that past, you're gonna uh, keep two snakes out of my boots, but, you know, yeah. metaphorically. You're not sure if he was going to say more, but uh, you just uh, talked right on over him. Mm -hmm. This is it. He says, getting to uh, room number uh, four. It's so a latch on the inside. Anything I can uh, get for you? Yeah. Show me where the outhouse is, the, uh, the piss pot. There's a chamber pot in the corner of your room. What do I look like? Freshly An uncivilized clean. brigand? Tell me. You got to tell me. There's, uh, there's got to be an outhouse somewhere. So I don't have to sleep with my own piss. 
cocks his head. Was that uh, how you do it here in the city? How do they do it here in the city? Um, you don't. I, I think it's. I don't. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's more. It's less. It's probably. You probably would feel better pissing in your own room rather than having to walk outside. Um, that's a subjective uh, opinion. Yeah, it's plausible that you might not want to sleep with the piss in your room. That could be culturally ingrained one way or the yeah. other. Yeah. So I suppose you can go piss outside if you'd like. There's a. Was there a? Would there be? There got. There's got to be like a public. What did taverns do in the old days? Did no they idea. have like a restroom or? <laughs> I think they had an outhouse. Literally just a, yeah. a, a hole in the ground. Yeah. I know that yeah, in there's... the um, on the east coast that there's a lot of like personal outhouses that have been dug up or like relics because people would throw shit in there, you know, like yeah. I was hearing about a Roman. Artifacts. I forgot what they called them, but it was basically like a public shitter, just like a row of holes. Yeah. A uh, cistern? No, a cistern, cistern is what's underneath it, or not a water. not a cistern or a uh... septic tank. Yeah, there's a term for it. This is in Roman Britain. They, they just uncovered like the largest one ever. It must have been a couple months ago. Anyways, yes, there's a uh, there's an outhouse around the alley, but this hour, most patrons prefer to just use the chamber pot. But uh, right, well, you're not going to lock me out of the house if I could try and go outside, are you? No, you? I'll be downstairs. Thank you, Cletus. And he starts walking downstairs. And do you walk after him to go use the outhouse? Uh, I will, yeah. If you've been here all day, you probably used it at some point. Would be my guess, right? Probably. Or even holding it. It's five in the has, afternoon. If he's just he's arrived, then he doesn't know mm -hmm. when the last time yeah. I used it. Besides, I can yeah. have a tiny bladder and need to use it all the yeah, time. Yeah, these are the aspects of... Uh, life that we usually don't try to simulate in game but yeah you know um so this building out here is a uh, is an outhouse Lovely. It's probably a men there's a men's wing and a women's wing and uh it's just a row of uh ceramic holes in the ground uh, and then as i go to the outhouse i say uh cletus one more thing if i get thirsty any chance of, cletus uh... is not there with you he doesn't show he, he he didn't show you to the outhouse so you walked outside and he doesn't follow you i'm fine I'll, I'll go outside i'll use the bathroom come back inside and say one more thing cletus before i go to bed if i need to use uh, if i want to drink you drink uh something you can get me or bar closed at mm. night usually the bar closes at night but if you'd like uh, uh if you'd like i'll get you a drink of water and he goes like rummaging in the back to pour you a glass of water Uh, and while he goes and rummages around in the back, I want to just like quickly uh, hoist myself up on the bar and toss my head on the other side to see if the lockbox is still there at all. Uh, you just saw a quick up and glance in the back. It is not there. You saw um, what's her name? Take it or have it. Put it on her right. hip before you were double check. ushered upstairs. All right. Well, before I get off my face, I should get out of here. Thanks, Cletus. He sets a glass of water on the bar, gives a oh, nod, drink it, takes a seat, opens a book, and uh, kicks his feet up. Um. Yep. So now I've pieced together that the money gets taken every day, uh, or every night, presumably assuming this is an average ordinary night, and that the woman will uh, take it home with her or out with her. So if I want that money, I need to probably intercept the woman um, as she's leaving. There's also something to be said for intercepting her as she's coming in in the morning, because you wouldn't bring an empty strong box to work you'd need a certain amount of change in there um and also you might not want to store all your cash at home it might be safer to store it where you are in the day at the bar so 
I would expect the night, I would expect if anything, she would deposit money in her house, not deposit in here. So probably better to take it at night, but there might be something there in the morning. Um, to aim for a night job. And I'll have to do it tomorrow night. Getting broke. All right. So I will go to bed and lie awake staring at the ceiling thinking about how to pull off this job. All right, this seems like a good spot to take our first break. I think so. Uh, you guys on the other side of a break, bye-bye.